Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mark with My Front Range Living and yeah, we've got some great stuff lined up for you. We are going to talk about some of the best restaurants in Colorado Springs, but we're going to do it by region. So we're going to start with the old downtown Colorado Springs. So when we talk about restaurants in Colorado Springs, as many of you know, if you followed our channel for any length of time, we love local restaurants and that is what this is all about. So locally owned, locally operated restaurants in Colorado Springs, specifically in downtown. So if you are living in Colorado Springs and you're looking for places to eat, this one's for you. Let's hop right in. So the famous, who doesn't like steak, right? I mean, again, we've, when we talked about the food trucks, and if you want to go and check out our food truck series, you can start with this one right here. But this doesn't just happen, right? This, this is body by foods is what happens. And so the famous, uh, I love their steak, man. The, the atmosphere is fantastic, uh, laid back, but also kind of nice. Uh, and great food, excellent service, wonderful drink menu as well, uh, and the steaks are always proper over there. And that's a great segue right into McKenzie's. McKenzie's is very, very similar, uh, and, and we love McKenzie's. The location is great there in downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, also, wonderful service, exceptional food. I mean, they genuinely put a lot of care uh, in their food over at McKenzie's. And so you can basically look at their menu and order away. It's fantastic at McKenzie's. Now, Red gravy. So um, as we go through these series, you're going to you're gonna see a bunch of things in common. Uh, and when we hit the west side, you'll see some, uh, some Italian as well. But red gravy is great Italian food, super conveniently located uh, right there on Tejon Street off of Colorado. Red gravy uh, is a nice laid back atmosphere. The service is super friendly. We had a great experience in there. Um, wonderful Italian menu. If you're looking for some variety when it comes to Italian food, Red Gravy is your spot if you are downtown Colorado Springs. Now, next up, so this guy, Brother Luck. <laughs> no luck's given. This one's for you, brother. So, uh, Brother Luck has got a few downtown. Obviously, four, and then Lucky Dumpling. So, uh, four is going to be a little more formal, right? It's going to have some uh, really uh, interesting chef-inspired type of food. And Lucky, Lucky Dumpling is a little more laid back. We really enjoyed Lucky Dumpling last time we were in um, fun graffiti on the walls and everything else. Awesome menu. A ton of personal care put into uh, those dishes. Uh, really, really eclectic stuff in there. But as well, great drink menu also. So four by Brother Luck is one restaurant. Check that one out. You won't be sorry. And then Lucky Dumpling uh, by Brother Luck and his crew as well. Uh, if you're looking for a guy who has been all over the place on television, uh, on all the different chef's shows, uh, on the Food Network and others, Brother Lux, your guy. So let's hop back in and Odyssey Gastro Pub. So when we went to Odyssey Gastro Pub, as the name might apply, kind of a bar atmosphere, super laid back, really, really enjoyed this. It was nice, it was easy going, uh, but you could tell uh, the different things uh, that they had on the menu, a ton of care put into their food as well. Not just the appetizers, but the entrees. I think when we were there, uh, it was the Korean bulgogi bowl and it was uh, pretty darn tasty. And then obviously being a gastropub, some fantastic drink options as well. We just really, really liked it. Uh, just casual dining. If you want to meet up for a happy hour or just a quick business meeting, I thought Ad uh, Odyssey Gastropub was a fantastic choice for both of those things. All right. So, hey, I know this isn't quite downtown. It's just a little bit south of downtown, but Jamie and the entire team over at Prime 25. Hey, if you haven't been to Prime 25 in a while, um, head on over there. Their happy hour is not to be missed. Uh, but if you're looking for a nice date night as well, it's a great atmosphere for that. Uh, just to kind of sit, enjoy. Uh, it's not going to be a fast experience by any stretch of the imagination. So allow yourself some time over there. Uh, but a happy hour is awesome at Prime 25. Uh, some great prices and great value on an amazing drink menu over there. And of course, uh, their steak is oh, so, so good. Get over there and uh, make sure you tell Jamie I said hey. Love her and the team over there at Prime 25. Next up, this one's kind of tough. You may have driven right by it and not even know. It is the rabbit hole. Hey, if you're not Alice in Wonderland, you may not have been here, uh, but this is a great underground spot, and I do mean underground. So uh, rabbit hole is actually below uh, some of the restaurants in Colorado Springs. Uh, it's subterranean. Yeah, so you're going to walk down, you're going to get in there. It's an awesome, awesome experience. If you have the opportunity, you're going to notice on their menu um, some really unique stuff, uh, as well as their bar menu as well. And it's just a fun place to go. 
Um, very, very intimate, if you will. And so I've enjoyed happy hours there. We have enjoyed uh, some business meetings down there, as well as uh, my wife and I have had some dates on it. It's, it's a great spot. You really can't go wrong at the rabbit hole. It's a lot of fun, uh, and it's just an interesting location. So make sure you go check out the rabbit hole the next time you're downtown. Uh, now, you know as well as I do, if you have followed the channel for any length of time, uh, Amber is the boss. We all understand that Amber Rose is the boss. And so uh, she said Phantom Canyon, and she's not wrong. I'll tell you what, I've been to Phantom Canyon multiple times, but this is one of her spots, um, specifically because the food is great. Not only from um, how it's prepared, how it's presented, and the options, but just uh, the overall atmosphere of Phantom Canyon is great. I would say it's a more casual, laid-back atmosphere, and there are a ton of options on that menu. Uh, absolutely fantastic spot downtown, really conveniently located, a ton of parking nearby, and of course, if you're anything like me, once again, body by booze, uh, a great drink menu at Phantom Canyon as well. Check out some of their brews next time you're in there, and tell them Amber sent you. They'll know, because let's be honest, Amber, right? All right, and last but not least is Kowati. Hey, we have talked about Kowati before. We just can't talk about Kowati enough, and here's why. We're talking about several different locally owned restaurants, uh, locally owned, op locally operated restaurants inside of Kowati. It's, it's an awesome meeting place. And what's great about Kowati, as we've talked about before, is the fact that one person in your party can order from one spot and you can order from multiple spots in your party. It's so good. I'm a big family style guy. I love eating family style. So when, when many of us go together, we like getting different things and sharing. It's great. And then there's a bar in the back, there's a bar upstairs, uh, great drinks, uh, always wonderful service, super friendly. Be prepared to take some time though. Again, these are all handcrafted restaurants, right? They're waiting for you to come in and then they'll prepare your food fresh. So Kowati downtown, just an awesome, awesome location. Great vibe. We love it down at Kowati. Hey, as always, we hope that you found value in today's content. It would mean the world if you went below, clicked on that sweet, sweet thumbs up and gave us a like on the video today. It would mean even more if you went down below and clicked on the bell down there and subscribed to our channel. We're putting out content every single week to help you make Colorado Springs feel like home. Now, hey, as some of you know, I am not perfect. It has happened. So if we missed some of your favorite restaurants downtown, would love, love, love your comments. So if you could hop in the comments down there, tell us why you love some of the uh, restaurants that we named or name some of the restaurants that we missed or may have forgotten on this list. Hey, as always, thank you so much for stopping by. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.